It's already Bump Slide Thursday. Boy, this week has just been clipping along. That's because you missed Wellness Wednesday. Oh, right. I wasn't here yesterday. Uh huh. Yes. Time flies when you're not here. Absolutely. <laughs> good to see what you this morning. What a beautiful color on you, I'm just noticing. Well, thank you very much, well, you're sir. Very I appreciate much. that. Um, good to see you this morning. Thank you for tuning in, and thank you to KC Security for sponsoring the show every single morning and putting up with us as well. He was here this morning visiting yes, you, wasn't he, he was. Daniel? Nathan, he, no, oh, Nathan. 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 Yeah, Nathan stops oh, in every Nathan, once in okay. a while just to, you know, check and make sure I'm okay because I'm the first in the building by myself, and he's yeah. just sweet. He is. Um, wanted to let you know that Biggings Avenue yes. from Wellington to Queen yes. is going to be shut down today from 9 until noon. So 9 o'clock this morning until noon. They're changing it from a two-way to a one-way street. Well, good. Yeah, I suppose. You couldn't fit two cars on there, Luann. I know. Even in the spring and summer. Well, I'm thinking that's You had to have like one that. tire on the sidewalk <laughs> to get two cars down there. So. And then Nathan from KC Security would have ticketed you because you can't drive on the sidewalk. No, you can't. <laughs> uh, so just watch out. Yeah. What's the other one that's skinny? Biggins is even skinnier. Woodward. Woodward is also pretty thin. Yeah. Narrow. Thin. Narrow. They're I'm narrow, cough, pardon skinny. Me. Um, into my sleeve. Yes. Um, yeah. No, Biggins was always, was always yes. ridiculous. Very, so very one way. Which, which one, way? Don't know. <laughs> it didn't say. That's going to be interesting. What would make mm -hmm. more sense? Wellington to Queen. I that's, would think that would make where more it sense. Is. No, but I mean, I oh, would think, start, I would think one way south would make the most sense. I'm going to cough again. <coughs> Coffee. How about, hey. Have a, have a sip. Keep talking. And we'll talk about um, Ellen is following sort of the Jeopardy and Wheel oh. of Fortune um, example. And yes. has stopped accepting live audiences. Mm -hmm. So for someone, I mean, the game shows I get. Um, and, and good for you. And Ellen, awesome. Good for you. Must be weird for Ellen, though, because she relies on, you know, she gets up there and talks for 10 minutes and relies, I, on the I would think, on the reaction. feedback and reaction. How do you do stuff. sort of a stand-up so comedy hard. monologue with no people to monologue yeah. to? Yeah, no, mon no monologuing -gers. And there And the view also. Oh, yes? Mm-hmm. I know that because <laughs> Elizabeth Hasselhoff made uh, her return to The she View. She did. Mm-hmm. She's a, such a liberal. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, so there was no studio audience. And so, of course, because there's no studio audience, they addressed the whole... Um, Coronavirus thing. Yes. And so Elizabeth says... I also think we shouldn't be in a state of panic because what we're doing and taking cues from our president is taking early, strong, bold actions to keep this as bay as much as early? Po we possibly can right now. I feel comfortable and confident because of his strong leadership. What so is she can, can you imagine? Can you imagine Joy Behar's reaction to that? Oh boy! She went on to say, "These early actions by the president on travel restrictions, I do believe, long term will help our country. We have an economic buffer over time that could absorb this. So it's all about economics. This, this is the whole oh, thing, right? Oh, totally. Uh, uh, use Purell, wash our hands. We're going to be okay, guys. Find a way to love somebody and hug them in a way that we can. And sh at that point, this reviewer says, Joy Behar's eyes nearly rolled out of her head. Hug them the way we can. What does that even mean? Bubble heads. Give them virtual the hugs. So it's that whole thing about just, you know. Be sensible. Australia now, you've heard yes. of news. Okay, so it's yes. in, they only have, they have 128 cases reported, which is not bad for an entire, no, con actually. For an entire continent. Yeah. yeah. But guess who's there? Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson, husband and wife, working on a film, yeah. and they've tested positive. Yeah. Somebody on the crew, they found out, had been in, in contact and or exposed to the virus. So Tom was feeling fluey, mm. weak, uh, feverish. Um, and so they thought, well, let's take the precautions because Australia has very stringent rules about what you must do, their, their health organization. So they went for the testing and they tested positive. They're being quarantined. And um, he sent a message home basically saying, don't worry about us. You know, sure. we're, we're doing what we're told. Mm -hmm. And uh, Australia really is very progressive in the way that they've handled they're this. They're very, yes. Yeah, they're, they've got, they're above board. 
Yeah, they've got uh, the well. The Prime Minister's hot on the heels of being criticized for the, how he handled the bushfires. Right. He got a lot of flack for not being prepared, yeah. and, down, and he downplayed that. Yeah. So they're not downplaying this at all. They actually have um, their testing is free and widely available. They have a national hotline already set up. They have web pages to tell you where you can go for your testing. Testing takes place not in emergency rooms in a separate area of the hospital. Makes sense. And they have a drive-through clinic in South Australia where Perfect. you can go to get tested. So does South Korea. Really, eh? Yep, yep, they do. Smart, smart, brilliant. You know what? Take the extra step. Be careful with your own environment, but the countries like the United States, they, they're short of tests. And, yeah. and the, all the doctors, all the medical people, all the experts are saying, this is horrific. Can I just tell you that universal health care right now is like my favorite thing? Thank you so much for being Canadian. Oh, seriously. My gosh. Could you oh. imagine if you, like, oh. and then missing work? And he's saying, oh, no, we're going to give some small business <clears throat> loans or whatever. Well, no, that's not going to help everybody. No. And, and, and um, our pr prime minister has announced a billion dollars invested in the oh. pandemic. And also, I was reading this morning, pandemic. if you. Yeah, if you have to uh, take 14 days and self-quarantine, you can actually collect EI for that. The government now has made a special consideration oh. for that. And you know how when you have short-term disability or you start EI, they generally hold a week back? Yes. And you only, so if you would have taken the two weeks, then you'd only get the one. This time, because of the virus, you're going to get both weeks. Okay. So if you have to self-quarantine or if you are ill, that is a little bit of a financial bother. Well, that's good because you. you're acknowledging that people are living paycheck to paycheck. Exactly. Which and is what they're not getting down there. No, they the don't border. understand it. So it's kind of, you know what, too funny, a little bit of a humorous spin on the whole pandemic. You got to you still got to be able to maintain your sense of humor. Well, you know, and it's, it's, it's so overwhelming. Like if you look at any kind of a newscast, like the first five, Five, six stories now are about the the virus so it's hard not to get you know riled up about it but Daniel Radcliffe who was oh. um, in Harry Potter yes of course he was Harry Potter mm -hmm. he says he he's confirming he does not have the virus it's just that he looks ill all the time <laughs> <laughs> He's very, very, very pale. pale. <laughs> well, if, I mean, even our guests mm -hmm. came in this morning, our mm -hmm. first two guests from Sioux College, because they're mm -hmm. doing the Bowl for Arch uh, thing. Yes. They came in and just, it's automatic. I reached out and I shook their hands. And we I all, did at the too. same time, we went, oh, we're so there we go, to. all four of us to the sink, and we're washing our hands, going, so yeah. anyway, chatting away. happy birthday to you, yeah. twice through. Yeah. Anyway, no, it's and interesting. now you got an elbow bump. Elbow bump. Which yep. is awesome. And Prince Harry did that with um, a musician. He did. Yeah, he just... Boom. I also have some advice if you're working from home. Oh, good. Yeah, I found some stuff. There was some, just some tips on Twitter in case you're working from home. Um, uh, stay away from the TV. Yes, that's okay. tough. Keep your phone on another desk and put it on silent mode for the hours you plan to work. If you live with someone else, set some rules. Uh, schedule work time. If you have to share living space, let them know that you need to work in this area for this time. Uh, and also make it clear, just because you're home, this uh, this goes for me and Keith. If I'm home, I have to make it clear, I'm, I'm still working. Yes. <laughs> yes. So um, and some people who work from home actually have, have done it their whole career and have office space in mm -hmm. their homes, which is ideal. But I did freelance for a couple of years in between positions. And um, it's it's those are really good points. You and have to really think. Okay, I'm going into my work office now. Headphones. You know? Headphones. Noise yeah. Noise canceling headphones. Yeah, and you know um, what? If your home phone rings, don't answer it. It's you're not there. Try yeah. to stick to your same work hours you would if you were in the office. And uh, if you're going out. Make sure you're not doing things like, oh, well, I'm going to run an errand now because then right. you can get carried away and start doing that stuff. And um, I'll go do my groceries. And don't start looking at your work and going, oh, I think I'd rather go do laundry. Don't do your home chores while you're supposed to be doing work. And if you're taking a break, get outside. Yeah. Get oh. outside, walk the block. Don't yeah. do things like sweep the floors or all that kind of stuff. No, because that's not a break, right? Don't have a shower. Don't do that on your break. Get outside, get some fresh air, go for a walk because then you're going to be... Uh, and also, make a cat-proof barrier around your keyboard. <laughs> Those are some tips. <laughs> also, change out your pajamas. Really uh, hard not to do that. It's so hard not to do that. But you know what? It makes a huge difference. You know when you're slouching around all day in your jammies on a Sunday, it feels awesome. But if you're trying to work and you're in your jammies, you're sort of got a whole mental thing very happening true. already. So get, get out of your pajamas. Put something else on. But get <laughs> out of your pajamas. 
Who's on the show today? Oh, okay. So Sioux College is here because <laughs> they're doing the Bull for Arts yes. fundraiser, and this is part of one of, the, one of the, their special events program mm -hmm. that Gino Cabello runs. Um, so anyway, they're Gino, hi, Gino, and uh, anyway, they're going to be here. And then also, um, we did a Skype a, an interview uh, for, and I can't remember right now. Uh, you asked me this question, and I never know. That's okay. We have Do you time. Remember? We're With going the second to. Actors, does Michael have it in your ear? Dove. It's Dove Real Beauty. Dove so Real Beauty. This is doing, such a good campaign. They're doing workshops for young ladies here in Sault Ste. Marie about self-esteem and positive body imaging. Awesome. It's run through the library, and I had her in for a, a live interview from the library. Terrific. Right. Okay. Thank you for your help on that. Plus, Luann has the news, and it's Bump Slice Thursday, so we'll be right back after this. as important as style. With PowerView Motorization from Hunter Douglas, you can schedule your shades to light up the room, create privacy, or both, automatically, no hands required. So your shades will always be in the right place at the right time in style. And it's only from Hunter Douglas. <laughs> Angelo, it's me, Vito. Imbecile, your brother! <laughs> Listen, you bring it ten gallons of flat egg shell of white paint. <laughs> year we've been celebrating our 65th anniversary dating back to services originating in our community in 1954 which is quite some time ago. It's been a great opportunity this past year to recognize the, the pioneers, the stakeholders that worked tirelessly um, to create uh, what we are today. I'm grateful for everything that the families 65 years ago and the people that assembled the organization um, have done in order for us to achieve the success that we're experiencing 65 years later. with Luann and Tim as promised from Sioux College. Okay, this is Kimmy and yeah. that's Tim. Oh, look, at it. it's Tim, Tim, and Kimmy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Timmy, Timmy, Kimmy show. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. The name of your program is? Public, Public Relations, Relations Event Management. Yes. Public Relations Event Management. I mentioned Gino Cavello's name and there's another woman who runs the program Natasha. and her name is? Natasha Diaktis. Natasha, okay. How, what year are you guys in? I am a first year. First year? Second semester. Second second year? Second, second sem semester. semester. Is it just a two semester course? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. So, you guys get assigned different events to run and manage yeah. Yeah. Yes. and publicize. Mm -hmm. Do you choose the events or are, is, are they assigned to you? I wish we could choose the event, but no. <laughs> <laughs> They're assigned? Yeah, they are assigned by our professors. Okay, yeah. and so now, what's the difference between first semester, second semester, and how do you end up working together? Do you still take <laughs> classes together? Uh, first semester students students actually joined in January, mm -hmm. okay. so I just joined it a couple months ago. All right. And second, uh, second semester, obviously, they started back in September. In September. Yeah. Yeah. So now, do you then continue again next September? Yes, I will be continuing in September. I get it. After so a four-month break. After a four-month break. Yes. All right. Will you stay here for the four months and hopefully work? Yes, I will be staying here, yes. Really? Do you have any work lined up yet? I'm working <laughs> on getting that done, yeah. Okay, because yeah. just in case you're looking to hire somebody for special events and management event planning. Yeah. <laughs> Look to me, yeah. Look at them. Yeah. That's great. Okay, so, <laughs> Kimmy. 
Yes. Uh, have you done an event already this year then? Oh yeah. Which, which one did you promote uh, earlier? It was the Great Garage Sale and it's for Habitat for Humanity. Excellent cause. Yeah. We have Habitat for yeah. Humanity all the time. Yeah. Pauline Pennett's been on the show many oh, yeah. times. And of course, Arch, one of mm -hmm. our um, amazing institutions mm -hmm. here in Sault Ste. Yeah. Marie. Yeah. Had you, have you been up to visit at all, you guys? Have you been to Arch to see the facility? We are going this, um, this afternoon. Are you? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, wait until you see what a beautiful, serene yeah. spot it is. How the uh, how they help people transition mm -hmm. in, in this mm -hmm. time of their lives. Yeah. It's just an amazing thing. Yeah. So you're going to be so proud of the mm -hmm. work that you're doing. Yes, yes. yes I'm sure. Uh, so Bull for Arch, this isn't the first time for this event, right? No. no, it's actually been taking place over the past four years. Four so years. this is the fourth event that's happening. Fourth annual. Fourth annual event, yes. I heard from Kevin, who works uh, as our master controller, mm -hmm. that when he went to Sioux College, this was one of his projects. Yeah. yeah. And that at that time, he raised the highest amount of money to date. Now, it's gone up since then. Yeah. Is that something that you guys try to do? Do you try? Is, do you set a bar for yourself and try to um, match or surpass previous years? Yeah, our target is five thousand dollars. That's twice what Kevin raised. So good for yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now, how do you go about um, marketing? I mean, obviously you're here on the mm -hmm. show. What other methods of marketing do you employ, and, and do you get to use skills you've learned in the classroom? So we have a Facebook page set up, Go yes. for Arch 2020. Okay. So you can go on there and get information about the event. Excellent. Yep. Uh, are you on, 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 on other social media sites? Do you use? Oh, yeah. Uh, we usually promote on personal uh, social media sites. Like, we have, um, our program have 27 students and 27 different social media. Can you advise it? Right. So you multiply <laughs> that by the number of friends and viewers that they have, yes. right? Absolutely. And it yes, just of multiplies. course. Huge amount, so, yeah. yeah, word of mouth. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so when is the actual event? It's on Friday, April 3rd. Oh, okay. Yes. So we've got some time to get teams together. Mm -hmm. yes. Is yeah. that the idea? Do we want teams? Yeah, we want team yeah. and we are also looking for sponsorships. Ah, the poster's yeah. up right now so mm -hmm. that our audience can see it. Yeah. yeah. And you're looking for sponsorships. Mm -hmm. yeah. What would a role of a sponsor be? Is it all financial? Is it in-kind? Would it be prizes? What, what would a it sponsor could be, do? It could be anything. It could be anything. If you are um, giving us in-kind sponsorship, uh, that means it will go for prizes for the winners. And if you are giving us money, that's better. Yes, uh, because that's going to yeah. go right to Arch? Yes. Then? All the but proceeds go directly to Arch, yeah. yes. Okay. But yes. we are looking for especially pizza sponsors and lane sponsors. Pizza sponsors? Yes. So yeah. if you are registering yourself, so you will get pizza for free. <gasps> Oh, wait, yeah. so if I register as a sponsor, I get, is that what you mean? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. If you're registering yourself as a participant, so yes. you'll yes. get a pizza. Oh, oh, so you want <laughs> you want pizza sponsors to provide the pizza oh, yeah. Yeah. so that you can give the pizza out yes. for free to yes. the So once you, once you pay the yes. $25 to participate, you get mm -hmm. pizza and also you get bowling shoes and you get to actually bowl at the event. Yeah. Would you, now that gets interesting because I would think, hmm, <laughs> are you going to get more than one pizza sponsor or do you need, because if I were a pizza company, yeah. like, mm, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mrs. B's or Little Caesars <laughs> or Domino's. I would probably want to be the sole pizza sponsor because yeah. yeah. I don't want to have somebody else's pizza in mm -hmm. there. So there you go. There's an opportunity for you pizza owners yeah. to get a hold of. How do they reach you if they want to sponsor? Oh, we, we are looking for sponsorship also. Uh, we have everything, like every detail on our Facebook page. Everything's so on your Facebook page. Yeah. And that's Bull for Arch 2020. Mm -hmm. Yes. So they can reach out to you and say, I want to be your pizza sponsor. Oh, yeah. exactly. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and then prizes, donate. Uh, oh, also, is there advertising so that if, for instance, if I were to say I'm going to be an in-kind sponsor, mm -hmm. would you put my name up and stuff or oh, put yeah, posters for up sure. for me? Oh, yeah, for Definitely. Yeah. If you're looking to donate in that way, we would definitely put your name up. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. it's like we have a lot of good proposal for pizza sponsor and for in kind, like event recognition, additional signage. Uh, we'll mention them on our social media. We'll mm -hmm. mention them in media and a lot of. And stuff. I'll bet things like if you were a, a, a company that that owned a banner up, you know, oh, those yeah. things you could bring it and put it up on display yeah. there. Any any kind of display yeah. you would allow to. Oh yeah. Sure. For sure. Which bowling lane? Is it North Crest? North Crest, Crest. Yes, mm -hmm. that's where it's I think that's place. the only bowling lane we have left. <laughs> yeah. As a matter of fact, is North yes. Crest. Lane sponsors, what does that mean exactly? So we have 24 lanes and we are looking for a sponsor to uh, sponsor our all the lanes. In other words, cover the cost of oh, the yeah. lanes? Okay. Yeah. And so by covering the cost, then you get that name, lane, mm -hmm. after, name lane named after your company. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And also, uh, there would be prize on the name after the company. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, for, cool. Yeah, for, for participants and for the winners. Now, how many people make up a team? Does so we need between four to five people on each team. And just like I said before, it's $25 for, for each participant. Yeah. yeah, for each person in the team. 
Okay, so you get four to five people. That'd mm -hmm. be fun for yeah. Yeah. work pe workplace teams to get together. Maybe mm -hmm. even get a couple teams in your workplace to compete against each other. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Church groups, choirs, mm -hmm. anything like yeah, that. Yeah. What about ages? Do you have different categories for ages or is it everybody both? No, it's open to everyone. Yeah. Everyone who wants to take part can come and play. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you could even have a team of, of teenagers from a high school could yeah. oh, for yeah. sure. participate. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Great class project too. Yeah. Yes. You know? Yes. Uh, all right. So the other thing I want to know is when do we have to register? Is there a cutoff date or do we need to know by a certain date how many teams we have because you have to prepare? Right. Mm -hmm. The deadline for registration is March 20th. March 20th. Yes. Okay. Where are we right now? What's the date today? Today's Anybody March know? 12th. This <laughs> is the 12th? Thank you. Because yeah. tomorrow's Friday the 13th. Yeah. <laughs> so we only have just about a week and a, a, week and a day. Oh, yeah. About a week left, yes. All right. A yeah. week left to register your mm -hmm. teams. Okay. And we already have 12 teams. Oh, how many yeah. can you take all together? We uh, need 24. 24. So we have oh, okay. We teams. want to double that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We want to double that. We so we yeah. can beat Kevin. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so sign up. We will. Yeah. We will. Okay, yeah. great. Uh, now, the event takes place at what time at Northcrest Bowling Lanes? It's from 6 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Oh, well, that's fun. That's not yeah. too long. Mm -hmm. I won't get exhausted bowling for two and a half hours. Yes, for sure. And you're saying that there's pizza available. Well, pizza will be available. Yes. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Pizza spot. <laughs> <laughs> Northcrest, I would imagine the lanes are licensed, too. You could probably enjoy a... Um, uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The ball, yeah. The ball yeah. will be open. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, all the proceeds go to Arch. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, their operating budget, I know you can find this out, but I know the details. It's about $750,000 yes, a year annually. just to keep yes. their doors yes. open. Because they're yes. only partially government funded. So, mm -hmm. minimally they need as funded. much support yes. as they can. So, get. it really comes from the community. Exactly. Yes. So, that's why we want you to get a hold of them and bowl for Arch, help them raise their $5,000. Yes. And uh, keep those families comfortable yes. and, and at peace mm -hmm. in a beautiful environment out on fourth line enjoy yes. your trip out there today yes thank you for sure and you you know come back anytime mm -hmm. if you wanted to come back again uh on the show anytime mm -hmm. you just get a hold of me you know yeah. where we're at <laughs> okay I'm yeah. i don't want to have to go to the kitchen sink with you guys oh again. no <laughs> thanks so much for being here the event thank again you. is on april the third yes. friday april the third but registration wraps up on march the 20th yes, yes. Bull for Arch 2020 on Facebook. And we'll be back with more Morning mm -hmm. Blue and Interim right after this. Thanks so yes. much. Thanks Thank you for having, having us. Pleasure. Thank, so Thank, Thank you. In your home, lighting is just as important as style. With PowerView Motorization from Hunter Douglas, you can schedule your shades to light up the room, create privacy, or both, automatically. No hands required. So your shades will always be in the right place, at the right time, in style. And it's only from Hunter Douglas. Oh, hey. Wait, what was the question? Let me guess. One driving high combo, extra baked? No. Uh, could I get a burger with a side of... Fries? Think you're a better driver when you're high? Think again. If you smoked weed, wait at least four hours before getting behind the wheel. Or don't drive at all if you're new to it, have eaten it, or if you've mixed it with alcohol. This is on Imagine knowing about incidents, closures, and road work all before starting your trip. Ontario 511 lets you know before you go. You can get real-time information directly from the Ministry of Transportation. Because the more you know, the easier it is for you to go. And spend the time doing the things that matter most.
Okay, I watched The Masked Singer last night. Yes. <laughs> what? Okay, the bear. The bear. It was a female. Okay. A little pink bear. Okay. Oh, but yeah. And bear, bear, pink bear, sang, I like big butts and I cannot lie, okay? Oh, really? Yeah, so it was like a little rap thing. Bear was pretty good at the... Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I but, thought that but, was probably someone young because of the song, I would think. Uh, uh, yeah. And so then, um, when the bear got voted down, so the bear was the one that the audience said they wanted to see because not the best singer. Right. That's how this show works, right? right. You keep the ones that you like to hear, and the ones that you think were the greatest, they get the last, least votes. And they pull so their bear, head off. They pull their head off. One of the guesses um, from Robin Thicke was that it was Tina Fey Tina Fey. from oh, yes. Saturday Night Live. Right. Uh, because there was some, there was like a li live thing. One of the clues was live, and he thought SNL. And we've mm -hmm. had some comedians on before. Makes this sense, person didn't right? sound like a real singer because they chose to rap. Blah 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 blah. The head comes off, and as they got their back to the audience to see this brown hair, and then a stagehand comes out and puts glasses on this person, and you can hear somebody say, "Oh my God." Is that Tina Fey? And I thought, oh my gosh, it's that's Tina, Tina Fey. Fey. And they turned around. It was Sarah Palin. What? The real deal. Because Tina Fey, of course, was yes, was so well her. known for playing Sarah Palin on SNL. <gasps> it was freaking funny? Tina Fey. Love there were ice her. skates in the clue. It because wasn't she's Tina on, Fey. I mean, no, it was Sarah Palin. Sarah Palin. She said, hey, you know what, it's a time for, this is a time in our country when we can, we need to unify and have, let's all come together for a common cause, which is having fun and just enjoying ourselves. And awesome. she was very positive and she said, this is the craziest thing I've ever done in my life, but what the heck. And um, I mean, that family's been gotten some bad press oh. again lately. The son has been in trouble again in the news. Yes, and he's, he has a hard time staying out of trouble. No that guy. clue that it was, that was Isn't so that funny. funny. And then she, and then of course after And you the said head, she kind of did a half decent Oh job. no, and then they go back to it. And she gets to do it again with the mask off. And she, oh, yeah, they really? do they do a reprise of it oh. as they go as they go off air. And oh, she, okay. So, really? Yes, like funny and good and good. <laughs> well, good for her. I, you know what? You I know was what? never a fan of hers, but if no, you can I'm laugh at yourself. But she, you know what? Seriously, good for her and good for her for taking the opportunity to to give just a positive message. Exactly, right? and it was so bipartisan. Good, good. It good. really was like she just was not about politics at all. That's awesome. So Harvey Weinstein. Oh, Whoa! He's back in the hospital. Yeah. I think he's faking it because he wants to I be in Bellevue. Know. He doesn't want to be in a cell with those two old men. Yes. Right. 23 years he was sentenced to for two rape charges. This is only in LA. So one was rape he and has, one was, one was or is it New York? I think it was rape and then he sexual still assault. Has, he still has to face several charges on the other coast. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes. Really? Oh yeah, he still has tons of charges against him. 23 years he's gotten so far. He's 67 years old. So basically, he's rest of his life. one of the pundits that I was watching said basically it's a death, it's a sentence, death sentence because, uh, I mean a life sentence, yes, thank you, um, because he's sick. So apparently he left court after that and went directly to the hospital because he had chest pain. Chest pain. Yes. Uh, I, I would be scared out of my mind. Of course I'd have death, chest pain. Did you see the emails that have been now released since the court documents released the emails? I saw some of the originals. Oof, there was one from his brother, Bob. Oh, who he worked with, right? Who, who ran the production company Who basically company said, basically, you are a horrible human being and you deserve You're to be okay, where you okay. are, rotten yeah. hell. If there's a hell, you belong there. And, like from his brother. From, like, recently? Saying after the sentence? I don't know. It was before the sentence. Oh, so. I had read something about that. Something like that. Imagine yep. and then going to work with them. And, and thinking, this is my brother? Well, I think it came out before that he was... Uh, and when he was sentenced, he had an opportunity to make some comments, and he was so weird about it. He says, you know, when I, f I feel badly, and men men um, are it's confused. It's hard for men these days. It, men are confused. And That's what he was saying. <laughs> men are confused. Right? Well, Harvey, no, you're the well, only one who didn't think there was that you were... Oof. Anyhow, okay, so news is next. Yes, news is next, so I'll have that for you right after this.
Recently, the government of Ontario established a $100 million affordability fund to help Ontarians who don't qualify for low-income conservation programs ease the burden of their electricity bill. Whether you rent or own your home, as long as you pay your electric bill, you could qualify. There are three levels of support available. The first is a home energy kit with upgrades like smart power bars and LED light bulbs. The second includes Energy Star appliances that help keep things cool during the hot summer months. The third is for electrically heated homes so that your power bills don't break the bank during those long Canadian winters. Plus, all upgrades, including installation, are completely free of charge. Visit affordabilityfund.org or call 1-855-494-FUND to find out if you qualify. Yesterday, nine local high school students from Cora, White Pines and Superior hammered it out while participating in the third annual carpentry competition at the old Sears building in the Station Mall. Students were given the task of constructing dog houses, which were then judged on accuracy and overall appearance. Then judges selected the top three builders to qualify for the regional competition in North Bay in April. Yeah, it's, uh, it's our annual local uh, carpentry competition. Um, so these students are all involved with our house building program. And the winners from this uh, event will go on to a regional competition in North Bay. And some will go on as a four-man team to provincial competition in Toronto. If they do well there, it's possible to go to nationals as well. Students that have dogs are going to take them home. <laughs> the ones that uh, aren't, we're going to donate them to Habitat Restore and then they'll go on from there. And how are the students' uh, dog houses being judged today? Mostly on accuracy and overall appearance. So the, the judges are going to be measuring everything carefully. Every eighth of an inch they're off, they'll be deducting marks. So it'll be, it'll, they'll be scrutinized pretty closely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Same as the rest of the trades, I guess there's a shortage, so this is our way of trying to help that, that shortfall. Um, the house building program has been going on for 16 years now with Sal Dan and the school board. Um, and the competitions, this is the third local one, but we've sent um, competitors to provincials for I think five years now. So we're just trying to get, get students interested and in, uh, in, uh, help them along on their careers. Is carpentry something you've always taken an interest to? Yeah, it's been an interest of mine for a few years now. Um, well, I have some family members that were like persuading me to do it. So, and I've been interested in it for a while now. So, I think I think if you can do any kind of co-op, you know, where you get a hands-on experience, that'll tell you whether you like it or not. Because a lot of times you'll have an idea what a job is like, but until you try it, you don't really know. So a lot of I get a lot of students who aren't sure, but once they try it, they find they really like it. And, We've had a lot of students go on that are now certified carpenters in the city and some of them own their own businesses, so it's been a successful program. Last night at Grand Gardens North, local Suite Rick Fall hosted a send-off dinner for his ultimate run yet. Rick has established a not-for-profit event to raise funds to help provide hope for children, youth, and young adults suffering from cancer and other critical illnesses. As of April 13th, Rick will be running 4,200 kilometers from Victoria, B.C., back home to Sault Ste. Marie. Rick's goal is to raise $300,000 for Make a Wish Canada and Childhood Cancer Canada. Rick's biggest takeaway from the event and biggest message is to never give up. Even when things aren't going your way, just never give up. Everyone is encouraged to follow Rick's run. He will be tracked at followorick.com. Yes, I'm going to try and average 42k a day uh, for six days a week, and which is a total of 4,200 kilometers. And coincidentally, that's uh, 100, uh, approximately 100 marathons from Victoria to Sault Ste. Marie. 
North American stock markets were set to plunge again when the trading day begins this morning as global markets sank overnight in the wake of the World Health Organization's declaration of a coronavirus pandemic. The futures market pointed to a sharp decline on U.S. stock markets at the open. In European trading, France's CAC 40 was down 6.6%, while Germany's DAX was off 6.8%. Britain's FTSE 100 was down 5.7%. The future contract for the Dow Jones Industrial Average slumped 5.2%, while the S&P 500s lost 5%. The stock market had been under pressure over concerns, of course, about the spread of COVID-19 and its impact on the global economy. But losses picked up this week in the face of a plunge in oil prices as Saudi Arabia intensified its fight with Russia over for production cuts it wanted. Canada's main stock index crossed into bear market territory yesterday, down just over 20% from its record high set back in February. The NBA has suspended its season until further notice after a Utah Jazz player tested positive yesterday for the coronavirus, a move that came only hours after the majority of the league's owners were leaning toward playing games without fans in arenas. Now there will be no games at all, at least for the time being. A person with knowledge of the situation said the Jazz player who tested positive was center Rudy Gobert. The person spoke to the Associated Press on condition of anonymity because neither the league nor the team confirmed the test. A statement released just after 9.30 last night said the NBA will use this hiatus to determine next steps for moving forward in regard to the coronavirus pandemic. The test result, the NBA also said, was reported shortly before the scheduled tip-off time for the Utah at Oklahoma City game. Players were actually on the floor for warm-ups, and tip-off was moments away when they were told to return to their locker rooms. About 30 minutes later, fans were told the game was postponed due to unforeseen circumstances. A second person who spoke to AP on condition of anonymity said the league expects the shutdown to to last a minimum of two weeks, but cautioned that time frame is very fluid. What's life without making a few mistakes down the road? A few sharp turns. And doing things for what we adore, but might regret later. A trip to Chuck's Roadhouse isn't one of them. With melt-in-your-mouth AAA steaks, buttery lobster tail, half-priced apps after 9 p.m., a nice cold draft with all your Roadhouse favorites. Chuck's Roadhouse. Food the way it ought to be. Priced the way it used to be. I have some scuttle. Remember Michael Strahan? I never heard the term scuttle. Really? No. Stop it. (laughs) You've never heard scuttle? Stop it. Scuttle. Scuttle. I heard scuttlebutt.
scuttlebutt. What's that mean? I don't know. <laughs> me neither. I think it's a little fight. Yeah, maybe. So what's the scuttle? Uh, Michael Strahan, who worked with Kelly Ripa and then went to the morning show on ABC, I believe. Okay. Um, ABC is where the morning and show And she is. didn't know. She was ticked. She actually, for the first time in the history of the, sh- of the show, that sh- since she's been on it, took two weeks holiday. She oh, right. Walk there away. he is. I remember this. Yeah, yeah remember? she got mad because yeah. she didn't know he was plotting to leave. She had no leave. idea. Yeah, she had no idea. And then she had to go um, to another new host. Yeah, and it took her a year to find somebody. But wow. anyway, that's, he, what, that's what I'm going to do when you leave. I'm going to take two weeks and go pout. Yeah, there you go. Okay. What about him? Um, you know what? When you're pouting, come to my house. We'll do some day drinking when I retire. <laughs> um, anyway, Michael Strahan now is accusing his ex-wife. He has four adult children and he has 15-year-old twin daughters. Okay who live with their mom, and he's accusing their mom now of physical and mental abuse of his former wife. Of his daughter? So, his yeah. former wife is abusing their daughters their physically, daughters. And, men- physically yeah, and mentally? He said, uh, yeah, he said he has evidence. He won't talk about it just yet. Um, I guess the he, he two daughters, did. the twins are in therapy, and she refuses it, refuses to take the daughters to therapy. Who? And she's, she's making them miss sporting events, he says. So I'm not sure... If that's abuse is that or the not, abuse? Um, you can't go to basketball. You can't. Oh no! Right? Go children's aid. Yeah, I don't. I, well, we'll have I'm to wait and sure. see. But Physical. Yeah, he said he has evidence, but he won't so, talk about it no, just yet. Even he though he just talk talked about, about it. it. Yeah. Okay, listen. So he wants full testing. Speaking about um, um, abuse or physical or mental health, I have something for you. Uh, Addiction and Mental Health Advocates presents Behind Closed Doors, a collection of monologues about addiction and mental health this Friday, March the 13th, or on Saturday, March the 14th at Sioux Theatre Workshop. Contact S-O-A-S-S-M. That's um, uh, S-O-A-S. S-O-A. S-O-A. S O A. S O A. Oh, this is part of the Fishbowl Festival. If you need information, just go to the Fishbowl Festival's page. It'll tell you everything you need to know. And check out the collection of monologues about addiction and mental health. Awesome. Okay. Now, coming up on the show, speaking of well being, Mm -hmm. it's Dove, uh, Dove. Be- Dove Beauty. Dove. Uh, they're they're doing a campaign to, yes. to ensure that every woman feels awesome about herself, regardless of what she looks. And like. it's for young women to raise self esteem and a good, awareness. Good and idea. It is, and so the workshop's being held at the library. Information coming up on this next interview. See you in a minute. established a $100 million affordability fund to help Ontarians who don't qualify for low-income conservation programs ease the burden of their electricity bill. Whether you rent or own your home, as long as you pay your electric bill, you could qualify. There are three levels of support available. The first is a home energy kit with upgrades like smart power bars and LED light bulbs. The second includes Energy Star appliances that help keep things cool during the hot summer months. The third is for electrically heated homes so that your power bills don't break the bank during those long Canadian winters. Plus, all upgrades, including installation, are completely free of charge. Visit affordabilityfund.org or call 1-855-494-FUND to find out if you qualify. If you're struggling with thoughts of suicide, there is hope and there is help. You matter. The National Suicide Prevention Lifeline is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The calls are free and confidential. Call 1-800-273-TALK. That's 1-800-273-8255. You are not alone. What's life without making a few mistakes down the road? A few sharp turns and doing things for what we adore but might regret later. 
A trip to Chuck's Roadhouse isn't one of them. With melt-in-your-mouth AAA steaks, buttery lobster tail, half-priced apps after 9 p.m., a nice cold draft with all your Roadhouse favorites. Chuck's Roadhouse. Food the way it ought to be. Price the way it used to be. Mornings with Luann and Tim, and I'm joined now by Lynn Obey. Good morning, Lynn. Good morning. So, Lynn is from the public library. You're in the children's department at the James L. McIntyre Centennial Branch. Yes, yes that's where I am. Hey, how long have you been there? Um, almost 17 years. Come off yeah. it. It must be wild for you. Do you see kids that come in now that are like in high school and stuff yes. that were there when you were little kids in the department? Yes, and I feel like I haven't changed at all, but. <laughs> that's good. No, that's good. <laughs> that's good yeah. because we are eternally youthful. Yeah. Now, and actually, we're talking about uh, a program that you're running. Well, actually, you've run the program yes. yourself, but now you're helping somebody out. Yes. Boyana up at the North Branch, the new North Branch on Northern Avenue, is going to run this program for the first time. It's the Dove. It's a workshop yes. for uh, Dove. Uh, tell me the title of it. Uh, Dove Real Beauty Workshop the Dove uh, for Real Self-Esteem. Dove yeah. Real Beauty Workshop for Self-Esteem, and it's yeah. focusing on young ladies ages 6 through 12. 12 Did I get yes. that right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now, I was familiar with this workshop. I, I've done some research into it because there was a time when I uh, was had another job when I thought, ooh, this would be a cool thing to run to uh, invite young ladies to. It's all about positive yes. body imaging and, and getting rid of all of those myths and, and awful stereotypes. Yes. And teaching girls really about just how to feel good about themselves, well, right? Yeah, and the beauty inside and out. The beauty so. inside and out. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it's also a bit of a leadership thing, isn't it? Yes, too? Is teaching definitely. girls to be more, more like take, take leadership roles? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, so how did you come across this? Because you've been running this before at the Centennial Branch. It's the first time at the North Branch since they just opened. And you're going to be mentoring Boyana sort of as exactly. she runs the program. Yeah. Tell me how you came across it. Um, so I was asked over 10 years ago now to um, go to a training through Child Care Carol Gome at the time. Right. On. Um, and there was myself and another co-worker that went and after that um, I fell in love with the program yeah, yeah. So, yeah I thought it was excellent so I was excited to get it started at the library when you and did it you were actually trained by the folks from Dove right from the no actually somebody oh. who was trained um, at, Ch at Child Carol Goma oh. um, she put it on for us and there was several people who went and um, they had been running it before us I don't I know see. if they okay. do anymore I haven't heard um, um, but maybe they do. Um, but yeah, and then we kind of took it on at the library, and so I've been running it. How long did you run at the library then? How long has it been going on for you with you? Uh, ever since I got trained. So I've been doing um, one or two a year at for least. For ten years. Yes. Yes. You do love it. I love it. Okay, <laughs> and it gets a great response, right? It does. Okay, yes. so just so you know, we're, this is March the twelfth. Registration already open for this. Yes, on the tenth. So. Okay, so two days ago registration opened, yes. and from your been ex it's been your experience that it fills up quite quickly. It does fill up very fast. So all right. So if you want to register, you should do this right away. It's uh, uh, call Boyana or just call the library at seven zero five seven five nine five two four eight. That's the North Branch number, and tell them you're interested in information on the Dove Real Beauty Workshop. So now. Uh, can, uh, the children, obviously, um, if you're 6 to 12 years old, are they going to be accompanied by somebody to assist them with this, to help roll the program out for them? Yes, so they are accompanied by a mentor. Um, so whether it be a parent, a friend, a grandparent, an whoever, aunt. an aunt, yeah, it, as long it's, as it's a female mentor. It's a female yes. mentor. And yes. actually, you've mentioned in situations before where you've had social workers come in yes. with young ladies with whom they're working, Yes, which is a great idea if you yeah. happen to be in that field and you have somebody you think would benefit from the workshop, bring them along, right? Yes. So, so who should call then? The, the adult should call. The adult will call and um, basically we just get some information. Um, if there's allergies, we do have snacks that night. You get snacks? Yeah, you get snacks. So I love that there's <laughs> snacks and that all of this is at no cost. No cost. Another one of these amazing library things yes. that they run for people and there's no charge. Exactly. And snacks. Yes. Uh, okay, so how long is the workshop, Lynn? Um, an hour and a half. Okay. So we will be running it from six to seven. 30 uh, the North Branch in the program room up there and, and this is happening on the 31st of March yes. so the last day of this month yes that's a Tuesday night okay exactly what do they have to bring 
Um, just themselves. That's it. And yeah, we have the pens, the workbooks that they'll be working <gasps> Show me on. The workbook, Lynn. What is um, this about then? So this one I've had for over the last ten years. Right. So I have writing all through it. Uh, we don't get through the whole workbook. Um, the whole like through the they evening. They don't complete. They don't the work complete it. Uh, we do about three activities out of it, and then we encourage them to go home and complete it and complete together. It. So I picked three of my absolute favorite ones. Those are the three that you've <laughs> Yeah, run. so these are the three that I Tell picked. me what they are. Um, basically, there's one about um, families, their community garden, it's called. So yeah. just talking about the different languages that they speak, uh, values that they believe in, foods that they eat, things that they consider beautiful. And and basically we go around the room and a child can share if they feel comfortable enough yes and we just talk about the differences amongst each other right and, and, so, and, and it's so diversity diversity exploring and diversity and celebrating exactly, our differences exactly and the girls it's funny because even some that are aren't sure about sharing at first by the end of the workshop they all want to talk so it's really beautiful yes. hey you talked about one where they have to create a magazine cover tell me yes. about that that's a this is a huge thing when it comes to fe uh, young lady self-esteem i think so is what media can do yes. to pressure people to feel badly yeah. about themselves or make them feel like they're not good enough. And how many likes we get. And oh <laughs> my gosh, absolutely. So I talk know. about this part. Okay, so I'm sure you like to run that part too, right? Well, and this is where we get the clips off. Um, it's one of the training videos that I got and it shows just different, um, you know, examples. The ways, well, just different examples of how the images are altered, and then the girls will see and compare. You know what they've changed amongst what's the real airbrushing, airbrushing touching, everything, right? Where they can actually, I've seen pictures where they've actually taken out people's waistlines oh, to give them more hips, a hundred percent, or yes. added all stuff on, or taken off blemishes yeah, or whatever, changed skin color, like we everything. We cover it all. We cover it all. And you brought some pictures to show some of the, the, this exercise about the creating the magazine yes. cover. So let's take a look at some of those. You, okay. The girls do what then? So basically what they do is they create a magazine cover of what they think portrays positive body image, po positive body image and positive self-esteem. So, ah. um, and they choose to share it with the class if they want. Right. Um, most of them would like like to do that. So. And so I, like, they, they can actually go up in front of the class and hold up their, the, the are, magazine, work, the yeah, artwork. Oh look, oh me. my gosh, how sweet is that? Yeah. <laughs> How many girls can you uh, can you accommodate per uh, workshop? So there's 12 girls and then 12 mentors. 12 mentors. So, so 24 in the class. 24. Yeah. Okay, so 12 girls. And what's the third exercise? Uh, so basically, um, that you like to run. To one of your your other favorite one that you like to do. Um, well, I like them to answer some of the questions about <gasps> what am I good at. Um, Once again, this is all know, making the girls making think the girls about think exactly. And you know what and, they like about themselves. Exactly. And there's one that's you know name five things you love about yourself or five things that you think are beautiful I love this uh, and this, the talents and strengths exactly all that positive affirmation yes and so. then they get to continue to work on the workshop work on the workbook after they take it home exactly and so at the end of the class each girl um, creates a real beauty promise so once they complete the class they There's make a, a promise I am someone who won't worry about what people think of me or whatever they choose right. and then after attending the real beauty workshop for girls so they can also choose to share that with the class as well some of the statistics that you brought in are are, are just so it's so sad it is what, yeah. is what is the ratio you said of, of women who actually find the say that they can call themselves attractive or beautiful what? four percent that's it four percent of the women that <laughs> who are can cool confidently say, say that they are beautiful that they are beautiful yeah. And that once again, this is just this is all coming from society, from media, yeah. all of these different areas. The other great thing about the library, of course, the library has surprise great books. Um, <laughs> so if you can't, if you happen to not be able to register for this this program, yes. fear not because there's more coming up. Yes, you've got more workshops coming yeah. up in the future, so stay tuned for those. Uh, and you can inquire, ask them to, you know, maybe you could suggest, let me know when you're having another workshop, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime. You could go and talk to Lynn at the at the main branch, the Centennial branch. Go and talk to a Boyana or anybody actually, and say the ref the books that are utilized yeah. in the self esteem workshops. Exactly. Yeah. Stick up for yourself. 
Every Kid's Guide to Personal Power and Positive Self-Esteem. <laughs> Parents need to know about this stuff. Of course, as a parent, you're going to want to know how you can help your child. The Parent App, Understanding Families in the Digital Age. Mm -hmm. All of these oh, amazing so, books, yeah. and even for the little ones, show. Yeah, so this is one of my favorites. Incredible, <laughs> Incredible Me. me. So, for what the younger for ones. Cyberbullying. Yeah. Uh, the Straight Facts About Risk-Taking Social Networking Still in the Teen Brain. These are all available in the library anytime. Yes. And if anybody's interested, you just go and ask the librarians. Give me some, some material. Uh, and also, then, these are books. Do you recommend these books to the girls who attend? Yeah. And I'll, I'll a lot of times display them as well you for put them, them to check out. You them all to check yeah. out. Uh, and then, what? tell me the story of this mirror, would you? So, this is something I added into the program. Okay, go ahead, Lynn. <laughs> so, basically, what in the workshop they encouraged us to, at the end of the class, have all the girls shout, I am beautiful. And I kind of wanted to think of something creative to add to the program. So, I have the <laughs> decorating a mirror at the end of the so program. So they get to decorate their own mirror. They mirrors? get to decorate their mirror and take it home and then... Wait, they get to keep their mirror. They get to keep it, yes. Okay, I love this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, truly, I mean, I can imagine you going home with a workbook. Oh, yeah. This, these girls are going to go home feeling so much, so great about yeah. themselves. This is so important. So, yeah, and then they yell in the mirror. Can I yell? Yeah, you can. What am I supposed to yell? I am beautiful. That's not hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> I am beautiful, darn it! How do I do? Very good. Do I Very graduate good. from the yes. Dove uh, Self-Esteem yes. Beauty Workshop? Okay. Okay, so once again, the information is, uh, the phone number is 705-759-5248. That's the North Branch Library. Isn't it beautiful up there? It is very, very nice. They've done a great job it's, up it there. It is beautiful. And Boyana's running the program. You're going to be helping her yes, out. Yes, I'll be there. It's exciting for everybody. If yeah. you want to register, call right away, please. And if you miss out, don't forget, there'll be more workshops down the line. Lynn Obey, right. thanks Thank for you. being here. It's Thank always you. a pleasure to have the folks in the library <laughs> here. You do amazing things in the community. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks for having me. Our pleasure. <laughs> we'll be back with more mornings with Luann and Tim right after this. I am beautiful! <laughs> established a $100 million affordability fund to help Ontarians who don't qualify for low-income conservation programs ease the burden of their electricity bill. Whether you rent or own your home, as long as you pay your electric bill, you could qualify. There are three levels of support available. The first is a home energy kit with upgrades like smart power bars and LED light bulbs. The second includes Energy Star appliances that help keep things cool during the hot summer months. The third is for electrically heated homes so that your power bills don't break the bank during those long Canadian winters. Plus, all upgrades including installation are completely free of charge. Visit affordabilityfund.org or call 1-855-494-FUND to find out if you qualify. Thank 
you for joining us on Bum Slide Thursday. Oh, I love Bum Slide. Tomorrow's Friday, and on the show, I have our Ma uh, our Amanda Amanda Carcidi stopping by because she's involved in a fundraiser for the Twinkie Foundation, and Athena winner Lene Fragamini ah. stops by for a visit. Love her, love her, love her. Not. Not a better uh, uh, winner of mm -hmm. Athena. She's just phenomenal. Always so involved in the community. In the community. Absolutely. Yeah. She's so dedicated. And it's all volunteer. And good for you, Lene. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. Yay. Big thank you also this morning to you for watching, of course, and to KC Security for sponsoring the show every single morning for us. We certainly appreciate it. Hang in there for tomorrow. It's Friday mornings with Luann and Tim. See you then.